What's up guys, it's Roger, and today I have the last Hunter build of the season for you guys in Trials of Osiris here. Pretty excited about it. We're going to be checking out an exotic that's going to help us get our dodge back extremely quickly. Now that of course is going to be the Frosties. Now we all know Stompies is the biggest crutch for Hunters. So many of them use it, so you need other options now that they're getting nerfed, you know. If you want to try something else out, even though they're still going to be really good, I suggest giving Frosties a try here. I was very impressed and happy with these today as I was using them. I've been suggested to use them before, I never really got around to it, but today I decided to throw them on, and they're very good. Now let's talk about what they do. So they have the perk Rapid Cooldown. That says it increases your grenade, melee, and dodge regeneration while sprinting. Dodging increases your sprint speed. So, first of all, in PvP you're going to get a 100% extra additional regen rate on your grenade and melee cooldown. You're going to get a 200% additional regen rate on your dodge. So your dodge is going to come up insanely fast. We have a few other ways to help us get our dodge back, and I'll show you those in just a second. Now the last part of these exotic legs is that they actually give you a 6.25% sprint speed bonus every time you use a dodge, and that's going to last for 10 seconds. Obviously, that's very good. There's one other way I'm going to be able to increase our sprint speed bonus, and I'll show you that here soon. First of all, you can check out the mods if you'd like. Just some unflinchings. We have Heavy Handed, Firepower, and Reaper, as always, are the three ways to make ourselves the more. You can go ahead and pause if you want to read those. And then down here on our actual Frosties, we have Orbs of Restoration, Innervation, and Absolution. Again, you can pause if you want to read any of these in full. These are just ways to help us get our abilities back up. And then two Bomber mods here. Very good stuff, so we can have our abilities up as often as possible. Like I said earlier, we have one other way to increase our sprint speed bonus that is going to be with our Without Remorse shotgun right here with a lightweight frame. Definitely recommend you guys pull this thing out of your vault. I love to use Hip Fire Grip and Fragile Focus on this. Fragile Focus, of course, is also getting buffed next season. So in a few days, this is going to be even better. And you'll see in the clips today, this thing already maps like crazy. You can hip fire this thing so easily. Uh, Fragile Focus is going to give you an extra 20 to your range when you don't take damage. And next season, that's going to be when you haven't broken your shield yet. So it's going to be even better next season. Definitely recommend you use some guns with Fragile Focus on them because they're going to be super good next season. As for our primary, we're going to be using the Thorn Hand Cannon. I would say you want something longer range on this map, even longer range as a hand cannon than Thorn because Thorn has very bad range uh, for a hand cannon. So uh, anything else, you know, is a very good choice. Of course, I'm just using Thorn because I want to have some fun and I haven't used it in a while. For our arc 3.0 here, we have a few different ways like I was telling you earlier to get our dodge back even faster. The first one is going to be right down here with Spark of Haste. This is going to give us greatly increased resilience, recovery, and mobility. That means plus 30 to all of those stats. So you're going to see right here, I'm at 50 mobile. But every time I have my shotgun out, that's going to go up by 20 because it's lightweight frame. So that puts us to 70. Every time I'm sprinting for about half a second, my Spark of Haste will turn on, which gives me 30 more. So I am at max mobility, I just don't actually have to have the max mobility stat. You're kind of just overdoing it if you have max mobility and then you shove this on. And I really see no point of that, I'd rather just have full recov all the time, so that's what I aim for. Now after that down here we have Spark of Focus. This says after sprinting for a short time your class ability regeneration is increased. So you just sprint for a second. And this is also going to make your ability regeneration for your uh, dodge there fly up. I think I was getting dodges as fast as I could in around 15, maybe even like 10 or 12 seconds. Like, it, you'll see in the gameplay, it absolutely flies up. As for our other abilities, we do have Spark of Recharge. So of course, sprinting is going to help us with our melee and grenade energy, but this does as well. If we get critically wounded, our melee and grenade energy are going to fly up. So, along with our Frosties, we have this Spark of Recharge, and we have Spark of Focus, and Spark of Haste. All of that together is going to let you have your abilities up all the time. Uh, this one I just have here so I can have 100 recuff, but you can put whatever you want on there. Uh, I recommend something like a Spark of Ions. It can be pretty good if you want to go hard into nades, you could do Spark of Shock, but that's completely up to you. Uh, I am going to be using the combination of Gambler's Dodge with a Lightning Nade and our Lethal Current. So, of course, we can use our Dodge to proc our Lethal Current, and then with all that extra sprint speed, we can fly on top of our enemies and take them out with that. Use our dodge near somebody else, can get us our empowered melee right back up, get a kill with the empowered melee, gets our dodge back up, and heals us a little bit. So all this is going to loop back into each other very, very well. Of course, lightning needs are very good on this map, and I am using Gathering Storm, which is also going to be buffed in just a few days here when we go into Season of the Deep. So I have a couple good plays with Gathering Storm today, but once we get into Season of the Deep, we'll have to test some Gathering Storms and Trials because I think they'll be pretty darn good. They'll actually be able to shut down bubbles and wells, and I'm very excited for it. 
All that being said, I think we're about ready to get in this gameplay. If you do want to leave me a like or subscribe at any point, I very much appreciate that. If you want to go that extra step further and join my channel membership, which is my Puffer People or my Low Puffs, then go ahead and click the Join button below this video, or on my channel page, you can check that out. I have a tier for $4.99 and a tier for $0.99. Cents. If you just want to go the extra mile and really support the channel, I'd very much appreciate if you checked that out. But either way, even if you just want to watch the video and enjoy and not leave me anything else, that is completely fine and I appreciate that just as much. All that being said, I think we're ready to get in this gameplay, so why don't we go ahead and blink on and do it. Now, as we start here, you're going to see that a lot of my plays today were just balls to the wall, go for it. That's because when you do the dodge, you know, you actually get the sprint speed bonus with these frosty. So you see right here, I dodge, I have lethal current, I fly in, and I just kind of went like that a lot. Here, it didn't really work out too well, you know, because I wasn't able to get these last two guys. My teammates eventually do follow up, I think, a little bit there. But I did get the first pick. The pick was out in the open, so that was pretty good for my teammates either way. That's something I like doing a lot with my blink, and especially on my blink warlock when I have astro sight because I have the extra blink distance. But it's nice to find new ways to do that on Blink Hunter that can be pretty good. People ask me a lot, what are the best Blink Hunter exotics? And I've made a ton of different build videos each weekend of trials where I try to use different things. I really like Lucky Raspberry and Shinobu's Vow. I think the way that they modify the actual grenades on Arc Hunter is very fun. Um, and it's one of my most interesting and fun ways to play Blink Hunter. But there are also something like this with Frosties where you can get a lot of extra sprint speed, you know, and just ram at your enemies and have a bunch of extra ability region. And that stuff is really, really nice. Watch my ability region in the bottom left. Or the bottom, yeah, bottom left, excuse me. You can see my dodge is already halfway back up. Look at this. By the end of this clip, I have my dodge up. And that's what I'm saying. You're getting your dodge back in sometimes like less than 10 seconds with this build. It's absolutely insane. I love it so much. I'm definitely going to be using these in the future. And honestly, this might become my go-to Blink Exotic. I think it does almost everything you really want. It gives you ability regen. It gives you some sprint speed bonus. So you can actually get on top of your enemies easier with your Blink. So that's all the stuff you really need to see out of an exotic. And honestly, I think this is better than Stompy's post nerf. Pre-nerf, I think Stompy's is really good. Obviously, people crutch it for a reason, because you always have the bonuses from it. Of course, people like that. But this is also really good. This gives you the same sprint speed bonus that Stompy's does, except for it only happens after you use a dodge. But it's 10 seconds after you use a dodge. That's a very long time. Now, on top of that, you get all the ability region that you're not getting out of Stompy's. There's so much more that you get out of these than you get out of Stompies that I don't understand why these are slept on so much. And I know there's going to be some comments people are like, I told you to use these a long time ago. I understand, you know, sometimes I just take a bit to get around to things, you know, it's whenever I'm actually interested in wanting to try them. Honestly, I've been wanting to get a better roll of Frosty Spurs because the roll that I have is not the best in the world. If you saw in the intro, the stats on these things are fine and I masterworked them and I made it work just fine. But I wanted a really good roll. If I ever get a really good roll of Frosties, I'll be using them a lot more. Because you can easily do stuff like this where you're just flying in. Um, I will say be careful this weekend. There's a lot of blueberries in Trials right now. Everybody is playing Trials because they want to get the Immortal Adept. So be careful if you're not in a full stack because you will probably be running into a lot of bad teammates. And if you get two kills, cool. But a lot of times if you're not getting all three kills, you're just losing matches. Um, yeah, that's kind of annoying. You can see here, though, look at my grenade energy in the bottom left. It was flying up crazy fast because we actually got to critical health. That's something I want you to keep your eyes on throughout this video. Watch whenever I get to critical health. Take a look at my grenade energy because you'll see it actually stores up. And even so, look at the bottom left right now. We almost have a full nade back just from running around that match and getting to critical health. We almost have a nade back. And I don't even have full discipline stat. One thing I do want to talk about with these stompies, if you run into a wall, you will get the Stompies Regeneration. It says rapid cooldown there on the left side of the screen. You see that? The other thing is with fragments though, so like our Spark of Haste that gives us all those extra uh, plus 30 to our stats does not work if you're running to a wall. See Spark of Haste down there in the bottom left? If I started running to a wall, the game would know that I wasn't actually moving forward with my sprint and it would stop giving me the bonuses from that Spark of Haste. The same thing from our Spark that lets us sprint and start getting increased ability regeneration on our um, dodge. That will not work if you're running straight into a wall. So keep that in mind. If you want to actually get the full bonus out of your fragments and from your stompies, you need to be actually running through the map, not just into a wall because the game does know that. Um, I think it probably still works on Frosties because they're an older exotic, so they didn't quite change the programming for that yet. But the newer fragments nowadays, if it says sprinting does so-and-so, 
then usually they're not going to work when you're just running dual wall because Bungie doesn't want them to work that way. There are some abilities that have been made recently that do work that way, um, but I'm not a big fan of those, to be honest. I think it does make sense that you should have to be actually running around the map and not just cramming your face into a wall and holding that sprint button. <laughs> I think that's a little silly for it to work that way, so I like how it works right now. I do want to say apologies to anybody who was waiting for these videos to come out for the past two days. Um, I actually was busy on Friday. It was a just a really good opportunity for me to spend some time with family and had a really fun day. And since it was the last weekend of, you know, the season, it was just perfect timing where I could kind of take Friday off and come back here on Saturday. And I spent the whole day Saturday just playing trials, getting together two videos for you guys. Um, but of course, you know, it takes a while to actually get all the gameplay and edit everything together. So I appreciate any patience for anybody who was like, where's Roger's video? You know, I like to actually see his build because I know a lot of you do like to see my blink builds as soon as you can on Friday and Saturday. And as soon as you see them, you put them on your characters and you go and you take them into Crucible. I love when I get the comments from you guys saying, yo, I used this build and it was absolutely amazing. Thank you for showing me this because I really love to see that you guys are actually having fun with the builds too. That's always my intention. I love to actually see that stuff from you. Again, grenade energy, bottom left. Look at that. It's going to be ticking up for the next few seconds there. I believe it lasts around five, three to five seconds. Once you actually get critical health, that fragment is going to be doing a lot of ability increased regen. Uh, you actually saw there, I tried to go aggressive in this round, but it looked like the enemies were just kind of backing up. Using shotguns is something I like to do a lot, especially with a build like this, where we can actually get the extra sprint speed bonus. Again, we will have max sprint speed bonus. The max you can get is 12.5%. We're getting 6.25% for sprint from our stun or uh, frosties once we actually do a dodge and then the other 6.25 for spin from our lightweight frame shotgun so we do get max sprint speed bonus after we do our dodge on top of that we have our lethal current which has lunge distance on it so all of that combined is going to let us get on top of our enemies very easily especially after you get the first pick because you will then be amplified like right here we can slide on that guy really easily i don't care if he's backpedaling with his immortal it doesn't matter because i actually have amplified at this point i have a bunch of extra sprint speed bonuses so i can easily slide on top of him and take him out very aggressive plays like this can be good at the beginning of a match. People don't expect them. You can get an easy two-piece like this, and if your teammates have at least three brain cells shared between each other, honestly, just one brain cell, and they're tossing it back and forth, they can clutch the roundup very easily, and luckily my teammates did just that. Um, it's a very fun weekend, to be honest with you. I like Dickless a lot. I've been waiting a long time for this map to come back, three or four seasons now, for this map to come back into rotation. I don't know why they haven't used it, because it's an amazing map. It has a great mixture of all the kind of things that you want to see. It has these side lanes over here where you can actually use snipers and scout rifles and pulses very effectively. But you can also come to this part of the map right here and get closer to your enemies where hand cannons work very well. Sidearms, SMGs, and auto rifles even work very well. And if you want to do a build like this, you can use a sword and a shotgun to go in on your enemies and have success that way. Every ar archetype of gun in the game, every gun in the game works well on this map. And that's what you want to see out of a competent trials map and this one really fits the bill now you can see here we got our dodge back because we were just sprinting that's all you got to do if you can sprint then you can get your dodge back uh, and if you can't sprint then okay i don't really know what you're doing just press this the sprint button and then like just move forward you'll figure it out but either way i wanted to show you this clip because this is an amazing clutch up that i did this round now my teammates Gotta give them credit, because they actually did the clutch up, right? But the only reason they were able to is because I was able to set up the play for them. That thunder crash came at me. I had a beautiful blink to go straight through him so he wasn't able to hit me. I then blinked on top of his teammate and killed his teammate. That did one big thing. It left a res in their spawn. He turned around and killed me. But that also gave my teammates time, while the enemies went and rezzed, that they could res each other. Then it became a 2v3 because they actually did get the res, but my teammates easily picked them back off, became a 2v2, then it became a 2v1, 1v1, and he actually did win there, and that was all set up because of my good play on that Thunder Crash, which led into this round right here, where we actually do clutch up the entire game. You gotta be ballsy sometimes, guys, and that's the best thing you can do with Blink. Thunder Crashes, you can dodge them with your Blink, you can make them go straight past you, but you need to do something called pre-blinking. If you see a Thunder Crash coming at you, and you try to blink, 
right before it touches you, your hitbox is not going to disappear in time, and you will get hit by the thunder crash. So what you need to do is blink about a second earlier than you might think you do. That's called pre-blinking. Once you do that, your hitbox will disappear fast enough to where you will get the actual thunder crash to go through you. Once you do that, then hey, you can go ahead and blink a second time, and he might run out of energy before he can get to you, or he might change his target to somebody else. Either way, you're wasting time on that enemy, you're letting your teammates figure out what to do with the rest of the round, and you're just repositioning, you know? Then you can do whatever you want with that round. And you saw we actually cleaned up that entire game with a beautiful Gathering Storm. Remember guys, Gathering Storm is getting buffed in this next season. It is going to be a beautifully good super. It's actually going to be able to shut down bubbles and Well of Radiance. That is huge because we can't get Arc Staff. So we've been using this lackluster Gathering Storm since it was created. But now, that's not a thing anymore. We're going to be at this point where we can start using Gathering Storm as an actual shutdown super, as I think it was always intended, but for some reason it was just made with not enough scaling. It couldn't shut those things down, but now it's going to be able to do that. So if you were ever interested in learning Arc Hunter, especially Blink Hunter, I suggest to you to do it now. We were killed by the Architects in that clip, I had to show that to you guys because, what the hell? I come in, and I, I play that in slow motion, right? He punched me and I died from his punch. I got hit by one immortal bullet before I flew on him, and then I got killed by the architects because fun. Wanted to show you this clip because things worked out here. It was a sloppy clip, but everything was able to work out. But what had happened is when I flew out of that door at the beginning of this clip, I wanted to blink down to the left side, right in front of me here where that enemy just came up. I tried to blink down there, but I messed up. I didn't quite time my blink correctly, and I actually hit the door frame and didn't get what I wanted. So just understand, even I screw my blinks up sometimes. Blink is a very hard thing to master. A lot of it comes down to your muscle memory. Uh, it's going to take you a few months before you really get that down pat to be perfect most of the time. And although I can blink correctly 99% of the time, I do mess up every now and again too. Because again, it's a very hard thing to pull off perfectly every single time, and you're not going to do it. So don't get tough on yourself if you're messing up sometimes with your blink because it is a very difficult mechanic to learn in the game, but it's one of the most rewarding. As soon as you can actually start getting that down pat, you're going to be a player that most people can't even touch. And that's what's so beautiful about blink. It has a very high skill floor, you know, just to start being good with it, it takes a lot of practice. And then it also has an extremely high skill ceiling. And that means it takes a long time to actually master it which is a good thing and a bad thing. It's a bad thing because, you know, you just want to start slaying out with your blink, but it's a good thing because once you get there, you're going to be untouchable from most other players in the game. And I can tell you that from experience, people don't know how to adjust to blink most of the time. Even other blink players who know how to use blink and know how to counter it because they use it themselves will get lost on a blink sometimes. Um, I mean, I was doing some private matches the other day with people from my clan, some good friends of mine, and a lot of us were using blink. I think four of us were using blink and even still, I was saucing them most of the time. Not because they're bad players, that's what was fun about it. They are very good players, and that's why the privates were so much fun, was getting to fight all these other Blink Masters, and yet still getting to outplay each other with the Blink. Because even if you know how it works, you know what to expect, even if you know exactly how your friends play with the Blink how it is, you can still go ahead and outplay people, and that's the uh, fun and the intricacy of Blink. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys, my shots were kind of off point uh, a lot of the day today, and you can see that here. Luckily, I was able to make myself calm down and hit two shots there to finish that round off. But to be honest with you, I was just tired today, man. And then when I got on and I saw how goofy some of these teammates were, it made me even more sad. And uh, eventually, I was able to adjust and was hitting some pretty good clips you saw through the video of the day. And speaking of, we are actually at the last two clips. So if you did enjoy and you want to subscribe or hit that like button, I'd very much appreciate that. Again, leave me a comment if you want to ask me about anything in the video. I'd be more than happy to answer any comments you leave. And more than anything, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you for an amazing season. I really appreciate any support you give me this season. And I can't wait to keep growing with you guys next season. We're about to hit 5K and I have a very special video planned for you guys. Um, and I'll give you a little teaser. It's about Nova Warp and about how it's very underpowered. So if you're interested in seeing that video, because I am uh, doing a lot more with it, you know, I've, it's a video that I've scripted and put a lot of energy into, um, get excited for that. I'm gonna have that up very soon here. It's gonna be my 5K celebration. But that is it for me today. So I'll let this last play play out. And as I say for you guys, as always, have a great day, Guardians.